If you've had issues in Fortnite Chapter 4 like low FPS where your FPS is lower than usual, stutters or hitches where your game sort of jitters now and then, all tabbing being super slow slash delayed, audio cutouts where you can sometimes not hear any audio in game for a short period of time, or even high ping where your ping is higher than normal. These are all issues that can be potentially fixed in this video today after showing you guys a few different methods that have fixed these weird issues for many pro players in the past. So after you do these exact methods that I'm about to showcase your game should be fixed and it should also be feeling way smoother than ever before which if it does please feel free to drop a like on the video and subscribe for more videos like this one all right so for the first method we're going to reset our fortnite config as it's not only something i recommend doing after every single fortnite update slash new season so you don't miss out on any potential new config commands or anything like that but also to prevent any outdated commands from hanging around inside the config so if you go ahead and reset your config you're essentially getting the most updated one possible, which can then be optimized later. To reset your Fortnite config, head over to your desktop. You then want to press the two following keys at the same time, that's Windows key plus R. This will bring up the run box. Inside of this, type in the following command, that's percentage sign, local, app, data, and then percentage sign again, just like so. Then inside the local folder, you want to press F, and you should see the Fortnite game folder. This right here is your Fortnite config folder as a whole. Now, once you've found it, you've got two options. You can, one, keep the current config as a backup and have your other fresh one alongside with it in case you want to revert back to your old one via literally right clicking on it click and rename and then renaming it to something like fortnite game one for example like so and then once you do open fortnite you'll get your brand new fortnite game folder alongside with it or for option two you can completely get rid of it and just have your fresh one on its own by literally right clicking on it clicking on delete and deleting the fortnite game folded just like so and after you have picked one of those two options it's up to you just go ahead and close this down then open up the epic games launcher go into your library and launch up fortnite once you've opened up the game you'll know straight away if you have correctly reset your config file as you'll see this blue lobby screen background which is known as the low input delay lobby background so if you see that you are all good to go and you've actually reset your config on top of that you'll also know in the top left corner if you go onto your settings tab right here that just your video settings and i mean literally just your video settings all the other settings are the same but your video settings have actually reset so you want to go ahead go through all of these and reconfigure them to actually get the lowest fps possible as you can see i'm doing that right now i'm just putting literally everything to low make sure you put your 3d resolution back to 100 percent that on low just everything on low I also, this is optional, but I also put NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency on ON. I've tried ON plus Boost, but it does give me a little bit of lag, so I like ON, to be fair. But as you can see, everything is off and on the lowest setting possible, which is the best for FPS. I know some people have messed around with the textures and the view distance and um, to see objects better in game and so they're not like a literal like little blob or something like that but those right there are the best video settings that I've found and work for me the best but make sure after you've reset your config file to reconfigure your video settings and press apply then obviously restart your game and then once you've closed down Fortnite or rather restarted it you'll notice if you go back into your config file right here under Fortnite game into saved into config into Windows client and then if you edit the game user settings file which is a config file in itself you will notice you have a brand new fresh config and you can go ahead and customize this how you like uh, for the best settings i recommend this video on screen i'll leave a link to it in the description below i want to keep this video short i'm not going to go into it in this video today but the link itself is in the description below for the best game user settings next up for method two we're going to verify our fortnite game files from the epic games launcher to do this just head over to your desktop you want to open up the epic games launcher just like so you then want to click on the free dot under fortnite you then want to click on manage and then you should see the verify files button where you want to go ahead and click on that this will then verify your files and this is really important to do now and then as if your game has been glitching running strangely not launching or just being weird in general it may be very well that it's actually missing a file or rather multiple files that can be causing all these issues from above so if you go ahead and verify your files it could potentially fix it for you next up for method 3 we're going to actually disable a popular window game and optimization so if you go onto your desktop and go up the bottom left corner and right click on the start menu then go into settings under where it says gaming on the left hand side if you click on that if you go on the left hand side again under game mode you will notice that the game mode is enabled by default 
What this does is it prioritizes your gaming experience by turning things off in the background. So when you're running the game, what game mode will do is it'll prevent Windows updates from performing, uh, driver installations, which Microsoft claims that it helps achieve a more stable frame rate. So you can see why it is a good idea to have this on by default and not actually change it, but I've heard that some people have had issues with it surprisingly. So because of that right there and the potential issues it may cause for you, I would go ahead and recommend that you do disable it and see how you get on with it. If you actually see no difference whatsoever, it's probably best having it enabled, but just keep that in mind that this could actually affect your game in certain ways, like it has for many people out there, but for the majority of people out there, it will probably just optimize your PC, and that's why it is obviously enabled by default, but I I would still mention that. But that right there has been a few different methods. Hopefully one of these methods has helped you with any issues you've been experiencing in Fortnite Chapter 4. If it has, please drop a like on this video. Please subscribe for more. Also feel free to check out any of my other videos on the left hand side or on the right hand side on screen right now.